Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Here we are creating a treasure cave themed set to go in a school hall for children to exhibit their work on. Now the client found this on the web and wanted something made that differed to the usual two dimensional display boards with just a few cutouts and words stuck on them like you'd normally find on school displays and she wanted something more exciting and eye catching for the children's work to be put on. She mentioned that the scenery would only be used for a couple of days so we recommended polystyrene as the quickest and most cost effective material to build it out of. She actually gave us quite a lot of freedom with this piece and allowed a kind of carte blanche artistic license. So she basically provided us with the size it needed to be and said that it needed to have an Aladdin's Cave of Wonders feel. So that meant gold coins, a few gems and rubies thrown in just to make the whole thing really stand out. So, using hot wires and saws, Aiden begins cutting up and blocking out in polystyrene, creating a rough landscape of the set. These mounds would become stacks of gold as though the whole cave is full to the brim with treasure. We're always looking for the most effective ways to create the particular sculpture we're working on, as every job's different. Often we need to stick to tight schedules, so we need to get the work done quickly whilst maintaining the quality. Now using a hot wire on this job in this fashion has its advantages, as carving or cutting out hundreds and hundreds of gold coins would be extremely time consuming. So Aidan formed a semicircular shape with the hot wire tool and cut small steps all the way down the surface of the poly, making it look as though the coins were stacked in huge piles whilst keeping the polystyrene in one solid block. It's simple, yet very effective. Something else we thought might work well was to give the whole piece a semi 3D look, as it's only a couple of metres deep from front to back, we thought giving it a false perspective would draw the audience's eye into the set, rather than just onto a flat 2D surface. And to break up the uniformity of the hot wire cut coins, we added an additional two or three hundred ourselves onto the surface just to break it all up and make it seem more random with the gems and rubies. Aiden sprayed and re-sprayed areas in the background to create contrast and depths, and used loads of glitter to make the whole thing nice and twinkly. Our in-depth market research said children like twinkly things, and so does Aiden. Yeah, I do! See? The whole set needed to be split up and broken down into smaller sections for transportation purposes, both to fit into the lorry for when it's delivered, and so that it could be moved into the school hall and set up nice and easily. Here you can see a small breakdown of where the joins are, and we tried to hide the seam lines so that they're as least visible as possible when it's all put back together. It's really nice when a client trusts us to take on a project with a lot of freedom of doing whatever we wish, and we always strive to go above and beyond to give them more than any of their expectations, so that it's a nice surprise for them on the day. Some clients like to stay updated every step of the way, whereas others like to just give us the concept drawing right at the beginning of the project, and then see it at the very end for the big finale. Here you can see the set finished on location, with all the children's artwork put on top, and we hope it made a really nice exhibition piece for the school. We simultaneously made a couple of other pieces for the school, like a large dove and a Hansel and Gretel gingerbread-like forest, so be sure to check those videos out. For more of our work, hit the subscribe button below for our latest videos, like Sculpt Studios on Facebook, and visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.